So today, we got some big stuff going on. I'm gonna get me a new gun, I'm gonna do some review, go back to Nuthouse Studio. I'm gonna get uh, some good filming done. We might go out and shoot, but man, it's raining, so don't know if that's gonna happen. But I guess we'll see. I've been going in here for a little bit, a few months looking, in, looking at guns. Uh, trying to figure out what I wanted. Just been super picky with the gun I want, and I think I found it. So we're gonna go in here and uh, purchase the first gun from Line of Fire. These guys have been awesome with helping me out and uh, showing me a whole bunch of different guns. So real thanks to them. We'll be there pretty soon. Good one, have a good day. Yeah. We're gonna go back to the Nut House studio and uh, we're gonna do a review, first impressions, that kind of stuff. Um, we'll, we'll see you back there. to the nut house studio we just got back from line of fire where we picked up a new handgun this thing is sweet i'm excited to review on it um so i guess let's go ahead and dive in it is cz um p10c it is a tactical version make sure it's clear always so we got two mags two back straps tools, cleaning stuff. This stuff, don't really care about. Yeah, that's, don't need that, so we're just gonna drop that. All right, two mags, 15 plus, I wanna say two. 15 plus two, you got large, and medium back straps. Go right here on this. So good. All right, starting with the gun. This thing is beautiful. We're gonna start with the aesthetics of it. And man, this thing feels just amazing, amazing. The uh, 
mag release button, shoots it out. So easy drops. I can comfortably get my thumb there without having to adjust my hand coming over like this. Working up to uh, the gripping on it. It's got some aggressive gripping, I will say that. But it's gonna be good when you get all muddy, you get all rainy. I mean, you don't wanna be slipping this gun out of your hand, right? All right, coming up to the uh, trigger. Let's see. Reset. That trigger feels good. Slide release button. Right now, it's pretty hard to do without any kind of uh, ammunition in there. Uh, but you just kind of pull it back. And Next, we're gonna talk about our railing down here. You can put a laser, you can put a flashlight for whatever you're gonna use those for. All right, moving up to the slide. We're gonna talk about the serrations on here, the front and rear. I can dig my fingers in there very, very well. I don't feel any slippage or anything on that. Same with the rear. They cut deep. You can really feel them in your fingers. Uh, so I like those. Easy. Next, we'll uh, move on up. We're gonna talk about the barrel last. We'll talk about the iron sights. They're raised. So you can, uh, once you put a suppressor on there, uh, the suppressor is not hindering your sight. Uh, they, they look very nice. Um, I don't know if you can see that. Great visual. So I like those a lot. Next, we will talk about the barrel. I did have a little bit of trouble. It is a little bit different from uh, what I've seen on other guns. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna make sure it's cocked, and then you only wanna bring it back a little bit. If you bring it back a little bit too far, it didn't work for me, so. There you go. Pull it back just the slightest little bit. You want to push these uh, little tabs down, and there it comes. So it was a little bit of a struggle. So you want to pull the trigger, pull it back just a little bit. Pull those tabs down, there it comes right off. All right. So we got our spring. Makes it go boom. Got to take the uh, thread protector off. Hole's not big enough. I want to say this barrel is 4.6 inches long. Uh, it's pretty nice, pretty nice barrel threaded. So you can put a suppressor on there or a compensator, whatever you choose to do. Um, comes out fairly easy. Goes back in. Spring goes on very, very easy. That's surprising. And it goes back on like that. All right, next I want to do a little bit of a comparison. I have my G2 Taurus that we're going to compare this with. So let me get that out. Always make sure your firearm is decocked. No ammunition in the barrel. All right, so first off, I guess we'll compare the magazines. All right, you can obviously see the size difference with that. You got 12 in here and 15 plus two in here. Now they're supposed, they're both compact weapons. This one I think could be a subcompact. But then we'll compare size of the gun. Much, much larger. I think this one runs about a three inch barrel on it, the Taurus. And of course with size, when, when it comes to size, and 
and guns. You're gonna have a lot of cramping up here whenever you're gripping it. See, if, if I didn't have a magazine in there, my pinky's left off of there. So, with this gun, that's the case. I can get a full hand on there without any, my, my pinky leaving the gun. Next, how much you can get your hand up there. It's not that much. You don't have a big beaver tail on this one compared to this one. You can really just stick your hand up in there and it feels really, really good. Um, the finger imprints on here, you got one right here, there, and right there and there. They're pretty good on the Taurus. Um, I actually like the stippling better. I really feel it whenever you're presenting your gun. This one kind of just don't necessarily feel it as much as you do with the stippling. Um, next we have the, the trigger. Make sure it's empty of course and Do a uh, better close up on that. Definitely a heavier trigger than the CZ. So next we're gonna uh, kind of get down to the nitty gritty of them and uh, break them down. So this one is a lot easier, as you can tell. Just kind of push it back a little bit, cock it, and that's that. Next, we will take down the CZ. Make sure your mag is out every time you take it down, or else it will get stuck and you can't pull it off. So make sure that is out. First off, we will compare these barrels, and oh my goodness, you can definitely tell which one goes in which gun. Springs. Then we got our slide comparison. And then our framing. All right, now, get to put them all back together. Fun part, huh? Go with our Taurus first. So many parts. And all you gotta do to put these back together is just reverse what you did to take them apart. Very, very simple. We'll take this one and we'll go shoot. We'll go have some fun, put a few hundred rounds through it, see how she holds up, uh, see if we get any jams. Uh, how accurate these iron sights are. And maybe we'll do after shooting review on it. Let's go shoot.
All right, back from blasting bullets. We're gonna go over some handgun basics with the CZ P10C. Tactical version it is unloaded. To start off, we're gonna take your right hand. We're gonna perch it as high as you can on this beaver tail. As high as you can, just like that. Okay, these three fingers, they're gonna wrap right around this pistol grip. Your index finger is gonna go on that stippling. It's very nice with the CZ. It's gonna lay right there. Your thumb on the other side, just gonna rest up like this until you put your left hand on there. When you put your left hand, you wanna take all four fingers, wrap that around those three fingers, just like that. You're gonna put your palm, this part of your hand, on this open space right here. So, four fingers, palm, just like that. Then you are gonna rest your thumb on the other side with the stippling, just like that. So it's gonna come together like that. And then your right thumb is gonna lay right on top of there, just like that. like that all right so whenever you are firing your weapon after you have your grip down you want to present your gun elbows don't need to be straight out you need to be a little bend in them kind of like shocks to absorb that recoil Press forward, kind of lock it in. Twist your elbows down, lock it in. Bring your sights up to your eye. You want to slowly pull the trigger. As you can see again, how your hands should be placed. And as you can tell, when I am aiming down these sights, I'm not closing one or other of the eye. The reason I do that is because if I am closing my left eye to look through my dominant eye, I am blind over here. I can't see anything coming this way. If I open that eye, I can see that with my peripherals. Close it, I can't see it. Open, I can see it. So you wanna make sure that you train yourself to do that because it is a very critical tactic to learn and to have because you don't want to be blindsided whenever you're shooting a gun no matter I don't care what situation you're in you don't want to be blindsided something coming on your side and you can't see it because your eyes closed because you're focusing on your target but what you don't see is coming right at you and that's dangerous so keep both eyes open train yourself Train yourself. So with all that being said, go out there and get you some training. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to leave a comment below. And you know, let's talk about it. You know, I might have some answers for you, especially if you're a first time gun shooter, or gun buyer, gun owner, you don't know what to do, don't know how to shoot a gun. Ask me, ask away. So if you have enjoyed this episode, why don't you hit the like button? And if you really feel like it, you can subscribe. Keep an eye out for episode two, where I will be presenting my custom Kydex holsters. And remember, stay tactical.